4.30 on an October morning, 1988. Gunshots echo down a dark suburban street. A tragic and violent end to brief lives and brief careers in the police force. Shots that haunt police to this day. Absolutely fresh in my mind, always will be. It was a, a total tragedy to see young people cut down like that who had um, no connection with any of uh, the, the, the history. 22-year-old Constable Stephen Tynan and 20-year-old Probationary Constable Damien Eyre. It's the first multiple killing of police in 110 years and you, you can't have um, people in, the, in, in those positions go off to work and, and, and be murdered and uh, there's no justice. Four men were charged with the murders, including notorious gangster Victor Pearce and career criminal Trevor Pettingill. All were found not guilty. There was pandemonium in the courtroom. Peter McAvoy and Victor Pierce turned to each other, half weeping, half laughing, while Trevor Pettingill and Anthony Farrell embraced each other, Farrell weeping so loudly he almost drowned out the other verdict. We think in a higher justice anyway. They'll get what they deserve, everybody does, and we truly believe that they will. Justice may not have to wait much longer. Victoria's double jeopardy laws, which stop someone from being charged with the same crime twice, are about to be altered. And once they are, the Wall Street shootings will be the first case reopened. The murder of police in any society, and I believe, goes to the heart of the criminal justice system. And it's not only an investigation that is very important for this organisation, but for the entire Victorian communities. The proposed changes will allow the Court of Appeal to grant a retrial if new evidence emerges, or if it's found that a crucial witness has lied. And it was perjury that played a key role in the first Wall Street trial. Victor Pierce's de facto Wendy initially agreed, then refused to give evidence against the men. She was jailed for lying to the court and has since confirmed her partner's involvement. Wendy Pierce has got nothing to lose and I, I, I appeal to Wendy Pierce to come forward and, uh, and, and, and give some evidence. She's admitted to perjury and, she, and she's, um, she's done her time. Kel Glare was the chief commissioner at the time of the Wall Street murders and drove the hunt for the killers. I think there'd be a great deal of satisfaction for members at large, uh, even people who are now members of the force who are not then, to see this brought to a successful conclusion and a prosecution succeed. Criminal lawyers are cautiously welcoming changes to double jeopardy laws, but warn a retrial of the surviving suspects won't be straightforward. So with a significant lapse of time, that's something that the court would take into account. Uh, and if um, the accused is so prejudiced that they couldn't mount a proper defence, um, then the Court of Appeal might say, well, um, it's, not, it's not in the interest of justice. But justice, according to the families, remains possible and is closer than ever. I was never going to give up um, because if you stop, some people think it'll go away, but uh, it's never going to go away until there is a conclusion as far as I'm concerned.